day six phonics with Miss Spinett. Let's start off by revisiting the past and present tense. So we remember our past and present tense was adding the suffix ed or changing the word completely. So let's have a look at this one. This word says look. Can you remember what we need to do to that one? Well done. We just add ed. And to make it past tense, the word becomes looked. Well done. Have a go at this one. Come. How can we change that into the past tense? Come. Well done. It's came. I came to the, your house, which means I've already done it. I came to your house. Go. So if I was going somewhere, I'm doing it now in the present tense. What word would I use to make it past tense? Would I change it completely or would I just add ed? Well done, I would change it completely to the word went. I went to the park yesterday. Went. What about this one? Hop. Now I can hear a short vowel sound in there. Oh, what do I need to do? Well done. I double the consonant. So that's the P and add ED. Well done everyone, good revisiting today. So today we are going to learn about adding the suffix ing to verbs. Now remember a suffix are letters that we add to the end of the word to change the meaning. So there are a few rules when adding the suffix ing to a verb. So let's find out what those rules are. Rule one. If the base word ends in an E, so for example, take, we drop the E and then add ING. So for example, here we can see the word take has an E at the end, then we drop the E and add ING. So the word becomes taking. I am taking you on holiday. Taking. Good. Rule number two. If there is a short vowel sound, for example, in the word hit, we double the consonant and add ing. So just like past tense, we double the consonant, but now we're adding ing, not ed. So, for example, the word hit becomes hitting by doubling the consonant, which is t. Well done. I am hitting the ball. Rule number three. Just simply add ing to the end of the word. So fish becomes fishing. Okay, let's have a go now and see if you can recognise what we need to do to the word. Do we need to drop the e and add ing? Do we need to double the consonant because there is a short vowel sound just before the consonant? Or do we just simply add ing? Let's have a look at this word now. Jump. Jump. Now it doesn't have an E, so I know I don't need to drop the E. Does it have a short vowel sound? J -a -m -p. No, it doesn't have a short vowel sound, so I know that I just simply need to add ING. I am jumping on my bed. Jumping. Let's have a look at this one. Drive. Drive. What do you think I need to do? Well done, as you can see, there is an E at the end. So I need to take away the E <coughs> and add I-N-G. So the word becomes driving. Well done, everyone. Let's have a go at the next one. Run, run, R-U-N. I can hear a short vowel sound there. What do you think I need to do? Well done, double the consonant, which is double the N and add I-N-G. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. So what I'd like you to do now is pause the screen and draw a table that looks like this table at the bottom. So you've got add I-N-G, drop the E and add I-N-G, or double the consonant and add I-N-G. Draw a table like that in your book and then... Using these words in the box, change them to what they need to be. So, for example, the first one 
has been done for you. And if you forget any of the rules, they're up here to help you. So the first one, hit, has been done for you. Hitting. Have a go at the rest of them and see all the different ways that we add ing. Pause the screen now and have a go. Okay, did you manage to do them all? Excellent. I'm going to pick just three and just to check that you've done them right. So let's go for swim first. Swim. Well, I can definitely hear a short vowel sound there, so I know that I have to double the consonant. Swim. Swim. Double the M. Add I N G. And the word becomes swimming. I like to go swimming. Let's have a look at one next word. So I can cross swim off now because I've done it. I'm going to take the word use. Use. So I know it's got an E, so I need to drop the E and add I N G. I am using my phonics to help me sound out the words. And then others, we simply just add I N G. So, for example, singing. And as you know, Miss Bennett loves to sing. Singing. We simply just add I N G. Well done, everyone. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to take some of those words and put them into sentences for me. See if you can write some really funny sentences. Off you go. Pause the screen. Did you write some really funny sentences? I'm 100% sure you did. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Lovely to speak to you all. See you soon. Bye.